No, but I did have a really interesting conversation. Oh, are you crying? No, I'm sick. Okay, okay, relax. Break it down. I'm just asking a question. Uh, what was the interesting well, conversation? I, I'm really sick. I'm sorry. It's it's really bad. Um, But the conversation... So, my name on here, the account I used to sign up on here was a random ass Facebook account named Jake. I so a lot of times people will see me and be like, hey yo, it's Jake from State Farm. What's up? And I'd be like, what's up, bro? So basically, he told me, mm, what's up, bro? What you need? Like home insurance, car insurance? He said car insurance. So I'm like, bet. So he tells me this story, right? It is he was driving his brand new Hellcat, right? And somebody ran into him. Okay? So, then he, like, slid off the highway or whatever. And it was just bad. So, I gave him a couple options. And none of them worked out for him. So, at the end of the day, he's not going to get a brand new Hellcat. Because he's broke. I know he's broke. <laughs> I gave him a free option, right? Do you want to hear this story? I'm listening. Okay. I gave him a free, a free option, right? The free option was I give you every tool you need to steal a Honda or Chevy. Okay. Brand new. It'll be yours. You keep it. Right? And then I gave him the second option. Uh, we can give you the rental and you just keep that bitch. And he was like, is the rental used? Like, who been in this rental? Like, what's the history? And I'm like, just basically like the wannabe hood boys, you know, frat boys, all them people. They've been driving this car. So probably some fucking men in there. But that's the worst of the worst of He's like, nah, man. And then I said, well, if you want. We give you that rental and scrub it clean, but you gotta pay me, right? And he's like, "Hi," right. and then I'm like, "Do you even know how much a fucking Hellcat run for?" And he was like, "Nah." So then we search it up. Okay, ninety four thousand eight hundred fifty dollars, ho. So basically, let's cut that in half. You gotta pay me half of that for this rental. He said. No. None of our options worked. I wouldn't say that makes them broke. A $94,000 car? Can you afford that? Well, he already had one, so... So then he wasn't broke. So either way, it didn't make sense what you said. Well, he broke now because he don't got no car or no money to get no new car. Well, not a Hellcat. He can get another car. Yeah, he can get another car, but he don't want no other car. He want that motherfucking Hellcat. That doesn't make him broke. Ugh. If you can't afford the Hellcat, why do you want the Hellcat? Do you want a man who makes a lot of money? I don't really care at the end of the day, because I don't make money. Oh, so you'll take any man? I want a man who's going to have a connection with me. Someone who will genuinely feel for me. You know, like someone who's, you know, I want something genuine. So he could work at McDonald's? I don't give a fuck. I, hey, go you, boo. I work at Panera. Okay, so <laughs> y'all just be making hamburgers at Panera bread, huh? So why don't you have a man then? Because no one wants anything genuine. No man wants anything genuine. Come on now. A lot of people view me. This is how I view it. I feel like guys view me as a quick fuck. And that's it. Why? Because I don't know. I, I just like. I feel like I'm very emotional. And I get attached. And then I give my all into someone very quickly. Because I feel like 
if I show them this genuine effort now, that they will see me for me and, you know, trust me and know me for me, you know? And then I get too deep down into it and then I usually am the one who's, like, getting hurt or left or etc. <laughs> Okay, so what part of that makes it seem like you're a quick hit? Do you give it up? Because, yeah, like if I fuck with somebody, I'm, I, we're about to fuck. Yeah, but you said quick. So how, how? What is quick? A week? Two? Three? A week? No, like we're talking like at least four weeks to like a month. And so you're telling me once they get the cookies, they bounce? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to be honest with you. Obviously, I don't advocate for sex before marriage, but however, we live in the real world. If you're making men wait four weeks to get the cookies, they're going to bounce. If you, if, if you are willing to, if you already think he's good enough looking or a good enough man to have sex with the first day, don't make him wait. Because the second you make him wait, guess what he's going to do the second he gets it? He's going to leave. He, just, he doesn't necessarily just want your cookies. But men don't want their time wasted. And when you waste their time, guess what they're about to do to you? Waste yours. Mm. So if you're willing to do it with them on the first day, don't waste time for four weeks. Because mm -hmm. men are going to feel that. They don't like the, they're going to feel like you're playing with them. Because I'm sure there's some guys you've given up the cookie the first week. Right? Well, I don't, I don't, like, I've done a hookups, but I don't like them. I can't do them like i've done plenty of hookups but i feel horrible after i um i feel like i've been used it was nothing because they fucked me and then they're gone you know it was <laughs> okay well that's, that's the... why i like to have sex with a genuine connection you know? not, but that, how's that working for you Exactly. You you still got nothing. So, what you might need to start changing is if that's the type of men you are attracting, you got to start doing something different. Either you want to hook up, and if you do, then you need to go ahead and give it up that first week. Or if you don't want to hook up, you make it established. You find a man who is like, hey, yeah, I'm willing to wait till marriage. But don't don't. But if you do that, you cannot be giving it up to every man before you get to him. Because if you do that, he's going to be like, what the hell? You... Okay. Well, so you got to make a decision. It depends on which route you want to go with. Um, you say you're not looking I for... I I'm, I'm waiting for... Like, I make, I make myself clear. And I'm very honest. Like, before... This is my past. You know, now, currently, I haven't been with anyone in a while. You know, the only guy I've recently talked to is, like... He 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 dipped after we fucked, right? And then he came back and apologized. So we're talking again, I guess. And I made it clear with him that I don't want to sit here and like solely resolve around lust and sex. I want there to be I want to rebuild what we had, you know? Okay. reconnect in that sense and what do you mean talking y'all aren't together no what's the hold up on that I don't know you just... that's why he left so at the end of the day we fucked right I posted on my story I need a man this was directed towards him okay so he slides up on the story. I'm like, ooh, yay. He's like, oh, I, whatever. Nigga, what? And then he went on this whole spiel about how I used him and da da da. I'm like, I sat there and genuinely told him how I felt and that I genuinely don't just fuck the fuck, you know? Okay. So, I don't know. So
So as of right now, what's holding it up? That's what I'm confused about. Is it you or him? Him. So what are you doing, girl? How old are you? I'm 19. Okay. Um, you know that it, it, you need to start moving forward. If he ain't said something to you in a week or two, listen, first of all, I'm going to be honest with you, young lady. Number one, you don't want to get too desperate. Okay. But two, if it don't happen in a week or two from now, well, guess whose time's getting wasted? Yours. Uh -huh. I, I understand you want a man. I get it. You're lonely. I get it. But damn, you need to go find a man who's willing to marry you because you keep doing this, you're going to look up at 28 years old and your timer's going to be out. Mm -hmm. You don't want that, I promise you. Okay? Uh -huh. So you need to start being diligent. You need to start being forceful with what you want. You need to go find a man who is marriage-minded and get with him. Mm -hmm. And you say you don't care if he works at McDonald's, mm -hmm. so your options are open right now. 